Hello, everybody. Welcome to another episode from Network From Home. Today, we're going to be talking about modem channels. We'll be talking about what modem channels are and how they work. We're going to be talking about the two different types of channels that your modem will have. And lastly, we'll talk about a few different ways that you can determine how many channels your modem has. So let's get into it. Let's start with first talking about what modem channels are and how they work. Okay, so I have my modem here as a reference during this conversation. Let's first talk about what modem channels are and how they work. When you hear the term modem channel, think about a connection from your modem to your internet service provider. That's essentially all it is. And this channel is a way for data to pass from your modem to your internet service provider and vice versa, from your internet service provider to your modem. And I have a cable modem, so that happens or that connection is made through a coaxial cable in my wall with wires that go out to the street and then out to my internet service provider. That's what the channels of my modem use to communicate with the internet service provider. So the important thing to keep in mind here, it's a connection for data travel between the two devices. And that's because any request made from a device on your home network will travel through your router, then through your modem, and then to your internet service provider. So anytime you're performing any activity through the internet or on the internet, your modem will be communicating with your internet service provider. They use those channels to do that. Okay, so when we're talking about modem channels, there are two different types of modem channels. There are upstream and downstream channels. Upstream channels, they are made for, specifically, they're made for data that is traveling from your modem to your internet service provider. That is dedicated one-way data movement channels or communications. The other way, or data moving from your internet service provider to your modem, those are called downstream channels. And the reason these are separated out is because if you have a modem channel and data is moving in both directions at the same time, that can lead to a lot of problems. It can lead to delay. It can lead to the data getting confused or the data getting disrupted on its travel path or congested along the path. Having these dedicated lanes or dedicated communications for upstream and downstream communications between your ISP and your modem, it ensures that the communication happens seamlessly, without delay, without errors during transmission, any of that. So that's why you have upstream and downstream channels. Next, we'll talk about the different ways you can figure out how many channels your modem has. All right, now let's talk about how you can find out how many channels your modem has. The most common way to figure this out is to look on the sticker on the modem itself. So if you look at your modem, chances are there's a sticker on it. For me, it's on the bottom of the device and it tells you a lot of basic information that it's actually really useful because pretty much anything you need to know about your modem is on the sticker on the device. So let's take a look at this sticker. We'll take a closer look here, but here's where the sticker is. Let's take a close up of that. Okay, here's the sticker on my modem. And where do we want to look to get the number of channels? for my modem. We're going to look right here where it says DOCSIS 3.0 
That's the standard that this modem uses for communicating with my internet service provider. But it has 24DS8US. The 24DS is for the 24 downstream channels. So these are the channels that are dedicated for data moving from my internet service provider to my modem. And the 8US is 8 upstream channels. These are channels dedicated for data moving from my modem to my internet service provider. And I know what you're thinking here. You're thinking, why do you have three times as many downstream channels as upstream channels? Well, what I would say to that is just think about how you use the internet. Most of the time, you'll be downloading from the internet. You'll be requesting websites. You'll be downloading files. You'll be streaming YouTube videos. Those will all use the downstream channels. The upstream channels, that would be, for example, when I upload this video to YouTube, or if I upload a file to my Google Drive, or let's say I'm live streaming a video game over the internet, that, those will all be situations where the upstream channels will be used. But hopefully with those examples, you can see that the majority of time you'll be using the downstream channels. And that's why you have so many more downstream channels compared to upstream channels. All right. So using the sticker is the most common way to find the number of channels that your modem has. You can also log into your modem settings and determine how many channels your modem has that way. What I will do is I will link to a blog post I've written on this topic. I'll detail the steps that you need to take if you want to log into your modem settings to determine how many channels you have. On top of that, it's worth noting that your modem's user manual will also detail how many channels it has. And the important thing to keep in mind here, why we care about channels in the first place, is that the more channels that your modem has, the faster it can work, or the, or the faster the internet speed your modem can support. Just think about it. The more connections to your internet service provider and vice versa, the more data that can pass through these devices at a given point in time, which directly is proportional to the speed of your home network connection. So if you have a fast internet plan, you, need, you want a lot of channels to be able to support that internet speed or that amount of data coming into your environment. All right, I think that pretty much covers it. If you have any questions, feel free to drop a comment below as always. And thank you for checking out this episode from Network From Home. We'll catch you on the next one. Thanks a lot.